This week we have new content, new vehicles, massive bonuses, huge discounts, and more free items that have been added to GTA Online in Rockstar's newest update. Today on the show, we will be going over all of the changes, and this video has got you covered with everything you need to know about the new update to GTA Online this week. Towards the end of the video as well, we will customize the newest drip feed vehicle of the week and take it for a spin to see just how good it is on the road. So let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date, and in the loop with everything GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So jumping in with our new content and new vehicle, we have the Western Reaver. This is the second to last vehicle as part of the contract DLC drip feed, and the Baller ST is the only vehicle left after this, and most of you probably have it anyway, as it's the free Christmas vehicle that you could have claimed during the holiday season. This is also the second sport bike to release with the contract DLC drip feed. It will cost you $1,900,000, and that's a pretty hefty asking price for a bike in this game. Just like the Shinobi, we will test this vehicle out towards the end of the video so you can see just how it handles with sharp turns, it's braking, acceleration, top speed, and more. Moving on to our free rewards, we have the white born and raised t-shirt. Just make sure you lock into GTA Online at any point throughout the week to unlock this free item in-game. Our podium vehicle for the week is the Infernus Classic, so definitely head on over to the Diamond Casino and give the lucky wheel a spin to see if you can win it. It's definitely a sweet car and it's extremely fun to drive in my opinion. Our Los Santos car meet prize ride is the Comet S2. Don't get this confused with the new S2 Cabrio that's part of the contract DLC, which is basically just a convertible version of the Comet S2, which released during the Los Santos Tuners DLC. And to claim this vehicle, all you need to do is place first in pursuit races three days in a row this week. Moving on to our massive bonuses featured in this week in GTA Online. It's a great week, honestly, so let's do it. First, we have double money on all Los Santos Tuners contracts at your auto shop. There's so many fun missions here, and with double money, they pay out extremely well. Now, of course, nothing is really quite as good and lucrative as grinding Kyle Perico, but if that's all you do, then I'm sure it can get pretty boring, so you might as well switch it up with some other fun content that's double money this week. Or if you prefer something else, we also have double money on all exotic exports and double money on all auto shop custom deliveries, which are also featured in the auto shop. You can do those in the meantime while you're in between contracts on your grind, and we also have double money on the sumo adversary mode, and lastly, double money on all transform races. We also have double GTA Online RP on pursuit races this week, but they don't appear to be double money according to Tez Fun 2. But if anything changes with the newswire, I will make sure to update you guys in the pinned comment. And now, when talking about the discounts and the huge discounts this week, we have some big ones, so let's break it all down. Starting off at 20% off, you can get 20% off the Peyote Custom for $496,000. You can get the EMP Launcher for 25% off at $298,125. At 25% off, you can get the Cyclone for $1,417,500 and also the Wagner for $1,151,250. And for our 30% off discount, so you can take 30% off all auto shops plus all auto shop renovations, 30% off the Astron for $1,106,000, the Vector for $1,249,500, the Cypher for $1,085,000, and the Gauntlet Classic Custom for $570,500. And lastly, you can also get the Bessera for $805,000, which is 30% off. And that's basically everything new in GTA Online for the week of February 3rd through February 9th. And with that said, let's check out the new Western Reaver Sport Bike. And here it is. We have the Western Reaver, and I actually have it um, featured in my agency garage right next to the shinobi which you could see right here and that was a fun bike to review here on the channel so now let's check out the western reaver this is based off of the arch 143 which is you know probably a motorcycle and sport bike company you probably never heard of but uh apparently it was like partially funded by keanu reeves so that's pretty interesting uh, let's go through all this i'm not going to do any backrests. we're definitely going to go obviously for the super brakes just make this thing you know, as cl classic as possible with all the upgrades that you would think. But let's check out some of these exhausts. We have a quad exhaust. We have racer exhaust. I think I, I kind of want to do something. I think we got to go with the sport. I like the sport exhaust, honestly. Let's do that. It kind of sticks with the theme of that where the front headlight would be. Because he had a bunch of different mud guards. And that will, I think, greatly improve the look. Let's do, actually, let's go with... Eh, let's go with this. The arc mudguard. That's interesting. 
front seat you can change that out a little bit and I actually like having mmm it's tempting let's do half diamond full diamond I don't know what the difference is they're like there isn't much of a difference here that you could see actually no, that one looks a little bit more black so let's go with the half diamond seat change the horn obviously let's put the xenons on there and let's check out the liveries you could do the reaver livery white stripes black stripes yellow blue digital camo redwood prolapse zero sprunk and that looks to be about it now we may put on one of these depending on you know how our colors go so let's go check it out um, rear mudguards first let's let's also handle that I think we want to do something maybe just a little bit another arc mudguard in white we can respray but first let's do put on the super transmission let's put on some turbo there there's no Imani tech on here which is interesting so there rockstar kind of missed the opportunity to put Imani tech on a bike in this game and that's uh kind of disappointing i think wow this looks like something out of portal full bozu windshield that's really interesting i don't know if i like that i think i'm just gonna keep it as is wheels i love the racer wheels on this thing i think i'm gonna need to do this let's go give it a test drive and see how this thing performs on the road now remember this bike is one million nine hundred thousand dollars so again it's just like the shinobi it's like unless you need um you know or you want to max out your agency garage which with all new vehicles from the contract dlc then would i recommend you get this bike we are trying to test that out right now the shinobi was something i would have recommended just because it does have a high top speed but it wasn't the fastest bike in the game um but this thing is I mean, this thing's quick. It definitely feels quicker than the Shinobi. And it feels like it has better handling, too. Like, I was able to take that corner. I don't think I was able to do that in the Shinobi uh, when I recorded that video. But see the braking? Can I break before? Nope. <laughs> we go right off. I mean, we gave ourselves not much of a distance at all. So let's try it again. I don't want to do a stoppy. I mean, the braking is good. Acceleration is also pretty awesome. And you can really get up there in speed. I like this bike. Do I love it? I mean, you know, I'm not a huge superbike enthusiast, IRL, same thing with this game, I prefer driving, you know, sedans and coupes and stuff like that, and so, bikes aren't my forte, maybe you guys are superbike fans in the comments, let me know, I mean, I love dirt bikes, but when it comes to just these types of bikes, um, not the biggest fan, and also, I'm not the biggest fan of the styling, I do like the Shinobi styling more, just because it's more classic, but this is definitely more unique, right? Um, Sort of like the Shitaro. I like, oh shoot! Like, if you got the Shitaro, um, that's obviously what I would say the most unique bike in the game. And this would be maybe second most unique because this is sort of cyberpunk esque. And I think this bike, based off the Arch 143, was featured in Cyberpunk as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a nice bike. Is it worth the 1.9 million? I don't think any, and nothing should be worth a 1.9 billion, especially a bike, right? In IRL, what is this? Like a, a $16,000 bike or something like that? I don't know. Maybe more, maybe less, who knows? But um, yeah, this is it here in game. I would definitely say you're probably better off with uh, keeping other bikes if you have them. This thing is bouncy too, like very, very bouncy. You do wheelies and you hit potholes and stuff in this game and you go flying up in the air. So definitely keep that in mind, but oh, there we go again. Anyways. Let's end it here. With all that said, we're gonna wrap things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you wanna stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Reddit Online, and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you wanna follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios amigos.